Alright, so we're heading down to train with the coach again today. We've got a chess workout in store with Ben today. Probably just a pretty quick session. He's told me that we're doing about three presses and a, and a flying movement and that's pretty much it. So we'll catch up with the coach and have a look at how everything's tracking and we'll see you guys at the gym. I was wondering why you came here early. Yeah. There you go, bro. Long time no see. Long time no see. I don't do anything too crazy on chest. I'll probably go, if you're happy to, maybe do flat dumbbell press, then maybe do incline plate. Uh, for decline, I've actually been doing a bit of decline barbell press, or we can do dips. I'll do one or the other, and then see the chest fly. Yep. Have you ever done those? Pretty much it's a shoulder stabiliser. You do three rounds, you don't need anything impressive. And you're trying to do 12 to 15-ish reps on each. I start in the externally rotated position first. Essentially drawing scaps back, raising dumbbells off the ground. I'll then move on to the internals. Same thing, arms are straight, pull my shoulder blades together. The good thing is, as long as your dumbbells are coming off the ground, the muscles involved are naturally going to be recruited with what we're trying to activate. Once we've done our 15 here, we then go out to the side. Don't be surprised if your triceps and rear delts burn a little bit on these as well. I normally do about three rounds of those. See how you go. I think you'll, um, you'll find it quite good. Sometimes what I'll do, and we could even do it today, just a couple of rounds of, we basically just get it in its shortened position on the cable, just for a couple of rounds. And then the carryover effect when we go into our first press, you should feel your chest a lot more. So we could even do that today if you want to try it. Yeah, I normally start with a fly first. Yeah, I just do honestly a couple of rounds, man, and it's like it just, it allows me to get that solid mind muscle connection before then I head on to the session. Stuff. I haven't done a dumbbell press in, I reckon, at least nine months. Nine months? It's like a bike, riding a bike, mate, you don't forget. You'll be right a couple of reps in, you'll be right back at home. I find about 90% <clears throat> in terms of max weight, like a, a really good point for me. If I'm just gonna go and try to do the 50s, I might get five or six, but they just don't feel great. Yeah. You know, I've just moved the weight. I haven't really felt a solid contraction. Yeah. I just went 17s, man. I'll probably go 20, 25s, 30s, 35s, and then go some working sets from there. so long to get going into a top set. Yeah. Whereas I think back, we did a few sets and we were, we were into it. Yeah. You have to have patience over the chest. How'd the first few feel? Not the most stable. See how we go. We won't go crazy today with them. I find with a bit more weight in the hand, I actually feel more stable. Yeah. These will feel better. It's kind of like if you had to squat with a broomstick on your back. Yeah. You know how it doesn't that feel great? worse than um squatting with any sort of weight. Yeah. And on the way down, what I try and think about is sternum to roof. As I lower the dumbbells, you should feel a bit more of a stretch as you lengthen. Sternum up. That's it. Yeah, yeah, nice. Good. Sternum up. Easy, though. How'd those ones feel? They feel good, especially like, eggs, like, that little sternum trick? Yeah. When that one's missing, you gotta go up. Last feeler set, I reckon. 
Checking. <clears throat> It's funny when you have to walk them back to the rack. There's no smooth, <laughs> smooth way of doing it, is there? The layers, the Scotty Babushka doll. Off. Mate, that bait is fresh. I'm glad I got a hat on. Scotty's arms are that big. He's actually just borrowed someone's knee sleeves for his elbows. <laughs> nice and stable, bro. You know what to do here. How'd they feel? Good. Pretty good. I've literally been like exclusively machine pressing for at least all of prep. Smart idea really, if you are, especially you mentioned to me that some of the sessions you were struggling with that, that connection, that feel, that pump, take the stability out of it is one less thing to worry about. Yeah. Now what I'll typically do here, two working sets. That's it. And for chest, sometimes what happens to me is I'll probably underestimate my first working set a little bit. So my second working set, I sometimes actually will go up and wait. Yeah. So rather than that top set, back off set, it almost is the opposite on this one anyway. But I don't really find it, it really takes away too much of my strength by having that high rep set first. So yeah. if anything, I almost feel more mentally prepared then for that max weight. Yeah. All right. I'll try 45s and clean reps, I'd be happy with about eight. They can go from feeling so good to just... Off the cliff. Oh man. Real quick. I've got 10. Yeah. Rep six, you're like, yeah, I've definitely got 10. Then he hits seven, you're like, yeah. One more. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know what to do, man. And then I, I wouldn't be against dropping and maybe going to like a 35 or 32, just repping out. Finish, finish, finish. Nice, man, really good, really good. Whew. Technique cue on this one, which I find helps a lot. A lot of people think about driving through their arms and often what they'll do, you would have seen it before, on chest when they start to fail, they almost chase their arms. Yep. I think the exact opposite. So I think, not necessarily pushing my arms away from me, but pushing my body away from my arms. Right. And you feel your shoulder blades lock into that bench. Try it on the lighter stuff and see if you like it. What 
you think? Good? Good. Yeah. yeah. Definitely, definitely feel locked in doing that. Perfect. Now this one, depending on how many feeler sets you want to do, I would probably go straight into 80 here. Do one more feeler and then hopefully our top should be about 90 to 100. Or we could do 60 now, up to you. How did it feel for you? That, that felt yeah. solid, so. Sometimes it's almost prolonging the inevitable. Great. Nice, man. really good. Push that stern towards me. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I don't know if I'm getting too ambitious here, but I almost think we'd be on the cusp of doing three flakes. Three flakes? Or I'm thinking probably a 15 instead of a 20. How did you feel? I don't know. I think I did like 10 reps and I felt eight. That felt. Yeah, this is what I'm worried about. It did feel easy. If we try it, the worst that's going to happen is you're going to have to work harder spotting me. So it's a win win anyway. And then we can do a proper back off set this next one. We'll try it. You know, it's almost one of those sets, you stand here like this for like six to seven minutes, <laughs> and then you unload it. Not a bad no. day about though. You know what got me the other day? I was watching um, Play School on. So I, well, I have my nephew. I was hoping you were going to say that. I just thought maybe that was after yeah. meal four. You're like, oh, fuck it, play school. Where's the rocket clock? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. How good was that weight? That one felt awesome. Yeah, that was good. At least our body weight feels light after that last three plate. Yeah. <laughs> nice, Scotty. You do have a bit of Wolverine about you. Instead of Hugh Jackman, huge Jackman. <laughs> hey, write that one down, that's good. <laughs> All right, we'll see how 20 feels hanging off the waist. Be used to that, wouldn't you? Ha <laughs> 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 very good. Make sure you say that one out loud, Scotty. like the bubble look where it's like it's the trap, it's the delt, it's the tricep, it's the pec. Very, very hard for a natural to like achieve that. That sort of density that you've got is unreal, man. It's really, really impressive. And it's been so cool to see your journey, how you've progressed on that. Obviously you had hints of that when you first competed and there was the potential there, but you've just capitalized on that. Grinding year in, year out, 
perfecting your craft, perfecting your craft. I remember all the chats we've had, just tweaking your training each and every year, because you're always been strong, like really strong. But now even with what you're gonna to bring to the stage this year, you can see the refinements. You go back to the drawing board each year. Right, where are my strengths, where are my weaknesses? How do I build on those? And I think to progress in this sport, you really gotta put the ego to the side and have a good hard look at yourself and go, right, well, where, where am I bad? What are my weak points? How am I gonna program and prioritize these to, I mean, at the end of the day, he or she who has the least amount of flaws and his condition generally wins. So you need to have that really balanced and symmetrical physique, which, mate, look at you now. Like, obviously to start with, very powerful lower body, but now, powerful everything. <laughs> really good. Thanks for listening to my TED Talk. My off seasons, I was always just like, just gotta get stronger. But this off season, it was, I, I went away from being purely strength focused in my off season mm -hmm. and went more towards like, I need to build up my hamstrings and my glutes in a different way, which didn't lend itself to just doing, chasing one rep maxes on my deadlift yeah. every, every other week. I think two things you said there stand out. If you always do what you've always done, you always get what you've always got. Yeah. So you've, you've changed that, you've broken that thought process. And I think another thing that we've got to distinguish is when Scotty says stuff like that, that he wasn't training specifically for strength, people I think have a binary thought process where they think, right, if I'm not going all out heavy, then it means I'm going all out light. It, it's not about that. It doesn't mean you go from benching 150 down to benching 50. It's about, it's just right. getting stronger in different rep ranges. Yeah, and, and rather than doing maybe reps, or max sets of two or three reps, you're going, right, okay, well, what's gonna be a better range for me to actually grow the tissue? Is that eight to 10? Is that eight to 12? And I think a big thing is owning the weight rather than the weight owning you. Six hours later. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Good set, man. Look at those pecs. It feels amazing once you go out of that one, it's like the blood just goes through there. It's what I really like then, even as you were starting to struggle, you didn't chase the arms, you kept the back. Yeah. Good, really good. What did you think of the setup? Yeah, that's good. Yep. Yeah. I actually probably won't go much heavier than that myself. I'll go. National titles, bro. Got about 85 days, come on. Easy, man. You can do this, two more good ones, two more good ones. Really stir them up, open, lengthen, 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 lengthen. In, out, five, four, three, two. All right, bring them in, just pump them out, let's go. One, 
two. That's it. Three, four, come on. Five, five to go. Two, three, four, all the way. Full extension. Squeeze your pecs. Get the thumbnail shot. There we go. All right, pretty good. What do you think of that? Right? That was great. Yeah. Awesome. That pumped it up to finish off nicely. Oof. Just hit a most muscular again, man. Yeah, that's the one. All right, so that's a wrap on today's session. Another great session with the coach. Picked up some really useful tips for training chest. Just some small things that you wouldn't even really think about, but I'm gonna get a hell of a lot out of training chest for the rest of this prep. Got a really good pump as well, as you would have seen with the post-workout posing. Yeah, overall really good session. Really appreciate Ben taking time out to get a session in with me today. Make sure you go follow him on social media as well and check out his coaching pages. All those links will be in the uh, description of the video. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, do all that good YouTube shit, and I'll see you guys in the next one.